Hey YouTube, it's Zach from Zach Grand's Reptiles. In this video, we're going to show you some progression animals um, all the way from a one-day-old baby all the way through a nine-year-old female that's had the last two years off. So she, she's pretty big. Um, keep in mind that um, with this, the growth rate of your animals is really going to depend on the genetics of the animal, um, what you feed it, how often you feed it, the temperatures, and a couple other variables. So keep in mind, just because these are how big my animals are growing at this rate does not mean that yours are. Um, you really need to make sure that you keep an eye on your animal, read your animal, and make sure you feed them accordingly. All right, let's get started. First up, this is the little hatchling hatched out yesterday, so it is not even 24 hours out of the egg. Kind of give you an idea of how big it is. This is a V70 tub or an ARS 7000 series, pretty much the same thing. But a very new little hatchling. All right, now let's go get. Okay, actually, let's leave that one there, and let's pull out another one. This is also a 2020 animal. That is a golden eye that hatched out in January, so it's about four months old. Uh, he's had about 10 meals so far in one shed. So in four, four months, it went from this right here to that. And just for another size equivalence, pull out one more animal. This animal is about a year old. So, one day, four months, one year. Thought that that'd be a neat little side-by-side -side to kind of show how quickly they grow in that first couple of months. And then they do slow down a little bit, but one year, four months, one day. All right, let's put a couple of these away, and then we'll show you a couple side-by-sides of the next step. All right, now we're back with the yearling there, and here we are at two years old. You can see the, the size difference there. It has um, almost doubled in size uh, within a year. This one is a 2020 animal, and that is a 2019 animal. So kind of neat seeing all these animals side by side to see really how fast they do grow and um, if you keep an eye on the animal you can see it still has a really really nice uh, backbone showing right there. Blood pythons are supposed to have that backbone showing. If the spine is not showing your animal is most likely obese. Not even overweight it would probably be obese at that point. But as you can see there is quite a bit of spine showing all throughout this animal and that is perfectly healthy and exactly how they're supposed to be. All right, let's uh, move on to the next one. Uh, this next animal, let's see, which one do we do? So I don't have any 2018 animals, but we do have some 2017 animals. So let's show you those. 
All right, here is another animal. This is a 2017. This is Amos. It is a holdback. And he's actually the sire to the very, very first baby that is a day old, as well as the 2020 animals. So he is three years old, or uh, four years old actually, 2017. Um, hatched out in July, so almost there. But as you can see, he still has a very, very pronounced spine going all the way down. He is in phenomenal condition, great animal, great color. But that is a 2017 male. And let me see if I can try to pull out a 2017 female. And I'll just kind of show you there is some variables in the animals. Each animal is going to be a different size. Hopefully everybody behaves themselves. There is a 2017 female. They are both right about the same age. Um, she hatched out in July as well. So, yep. Right around the same age. Just a couple of days apart. They will not be breeding together. I actually have some other plans. Uh, this big striped girl is going to be breeding with the um, 2017 male that I showed you earlier today. All right, let me get these two back real quick and I will show you the 2012 female that's had the last two years off. So it'll really give you a good size on how big she can get. All right, this is gonna be the last animal we'll show in this video. She is a 2012 Matrix produced by Keith McPeak. She eats a large to extra large rat every about two to three weeks. Um, her last meal was an extra large rat, so she won't eat for another couple of weeks. Um, we're actually going to be breeding her this upcoming season. Uh, even at this size, you can see that spine is prominent all the way down her body. I, I really wouldn't want her getting any heavier than what she is right now. She has a nice little taper at her tail as well. It's hard to tell in the video just because it's at a side angle. But... She's in great shape, healthy animal. She weighs about 24, 25 pounds. There we go. She, she's a really, really good, well-mannered snake as well. So that's, it's always nice when they're this big. Makes it a lot easier to manage. And for size reference, Is a 12 liter. Or two liter, I'm sorry. Give you an idea of how big she really is. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, be sure to like, comment below, subscribe to the channel. Uh, let us know if there's anything you'd like to see. And we will see you next time. Thanks.